Hey, um, I'm, I'm here now to uh, do a quick talk about finishing models. Um, right here we have a car done by one of my friends, um, and I just want to give him a few tips. And it's a really, it's really well done, um, but there are just a few things, um, like all these here, um, these, these edge loops that come around from the detail on the top of the car. Um, up on the top of the car, it's really, really important to have these edge loops to make them. You know, the windows, the lights on the front, the hood, the shape. But on the bottom, they're really not doing anything. Um, in fact, they're just taking up faces. And if we're using a face count, um, it's just going to take away from that, and it's going to be a waste of we be putting detail elsewhere. So, um, what I'm, I'm just going to quickly do um, here is remove them um, without affecting any of the detail um, on top. Uh, the shape of the vehicle is going to stay exactly the same. I'm just going to edge slide um, the edge loops that are unused in the shape of the vehicle, which is on the bottom, which is generally flat. And uh, these are a lot of wasted um, faces that don't contribute to the shape. There, there are some on the top, on the back of the car, as you, as you can see, but I'm not going to focus on those. I'm going to focus on the really, really obvious ones um, right here on the bottom. And uh, so just hitting Control e when you have the edges you want edge side selected, and uh, that gets you to the um, Specials menu, and then you just go down to Edge Slide, and click it and move your mouse and slide it in the direction you want. Then uh, hitting A to select the entire mesh, you um, then go hit W and go into that menu and go remove doubles and uh, you will remove the doubles created by um, moving the, the vertices or edges over and one thing I'm checking is to make sure that I'm not um, changing any of the geometry um, and I've, I've gone, if you noticed, uh, back there um, I, before when I was selecting edge loop I went back and I clicked one vertice or one edge um, away, like I just did there, um, so that it's not pulling the entire uh, pulling from the shape. It's just pulling from the edge loop that is um, a ways down. It, it is creating triangles, but those aren't a big problem. Um, I will I will fix up the triangles in a bit um, later on because uh, we don't want those long long skinny triangles. Right here, I'm going to try to fix up these to get more manageable triangles um, because uh, later on, when we texture um, the triangles, you'll actually be able to see it. It, uh, it might look kind of funny in renders where there's really long, skinny triangles. And I, I have no clue why. I couldn't tell you why, but they just do. They show up funny, and you can, you can see the shape and the texture. And, and so what I'm just doing here is going through and uh, because the mirror is already off the object otherwise it would have done it so it would have done a better job than if the mirror was still on because I, I got more than the left half um, slid to the left side so I'll be sliding less of the edge loops to the right side which will make it off but but I'm just sliding over um, doing simple edge slides and then selecting the entire mesh with A and removing doubles. But right here, I'm, I'm just trying to make it so that there aren't any long skinny triangles, even if it means, um, you know, leaving some extra triangles there. Um, and this this model has already, it's not my model, it's a friend, and it's already been textured, but I'm just just showing some simple, simple things you could do before you texture your model. Um, generally when you're modeling you don't want to have triangles in your mesh and um, Richard here has done a really good job of not creating any triangles. Um, and uh, not having triangles in your mesh um, will help you um, when you're modeling. It'll help you create new edge loops uh, that are efficient 
can so you can create better geometry. It's just easier to work with. More um, you can you can work faster. But once you're done, your model has your general shape. You can start you can start to create reasonable triangles um, to reduce face counts. And when you're creating creating triangles, you don't you don't want to do anything that's going to um, change the shape of the mesh or the shape of the model you just want to reduce faces and sometimes um, faces uh, in areas there um, if you look at the front bumper there's some fairly straight parts down below um, that kind of poke out and they have a lot more faces than they really need to get the shape and so that that's one area that um, I will move to next And then um, on the corner here, it's it's something I had problems with when I tried modeling one of my own cars. When you get to the corner, um, it it's really hard to make that curve flow smoothly um, in, into the side. And so I I even had problems getting boxy shapes. But uh, so all I've done is added an extra ed loop, edge loop and just moved it around. Tr tried to get um, a more a more smooth shape coming around the the, the side of the car. And um, I've just I've I've gone and uh, I'm starting to pull some vertices, which is probably a bad idea. Um, you want to avoid that at all costs because you want to keep them, um, you know, smooth, close together, um, like the way they were put in. And once you start pulling them around, you might move a little bit away from an axis from another vertice um, in in a wrong direction, and it might just take away from the model. But um, what I'm going to do in a minute I kind of got lost. I changed the wrong screen. I couldn't get back. So uh, I'm also, um, because I'm going to check, I'm looking for the uh, modifiers panel so I can check the edge split and the edge split on it is 10 and personally um, you don't want to go anywhere below 30 30 is the default when you add an edge split modifier to your object um, 30 will um, be what it starts with and that's usually where you want to stay um, sometimes you might want to move it up a bit to get some more smooth edges um, if you want your object just to have sharp like 90 degree edges you might want to move it up so that you know anything 60 and under is smooth um, so I've moved it up to 30, and now that new edge split, or edge edge loop I put in, um, is starting to look a little bit more smooth. Um, what I'm going to do next is take, um, I'm going to start edge sliding some of those um, those extra extra vertices there in the front where it's more straight. Uh, have a quick render to look to see how it is. And I do notice I have kind of distorted the texture with the edge slides. So I, I didn't want to take all day on this, but... starting to get a bit of a more smooth look to it in the render and now I'm going to try to optimize the geometry down here I have a lot of um, um, 
a lot of um, faces, a lot of vertices down here, especially to the left around the front of the car that are practically straight and not being used. And I'm going to eventually want to bring those over. Um, but right now, what I'm going to do um, is add uh, a mark sharp. Um, and when you see in the render, um, you can see where the edges are. They're a bit sharper. So um, if your edge split isn't doing it for some of your corners, you can add a, a sharp. Go to Control E to get to the edge, the edges um, menu, and then you can hit Mark Sharp, or you can select those and hit Clear Sharp if you don't like it. And uh, you can play with that so you don't have to bring your edge split down so low, and so that you can put it on the the corners you want. And now I'm just doing some edge slides um, to more round out the bumper rather than have all of them um, up front in a straight line and then have a really sharp corner I'm just sliding them over um, it's got the same corner but it's more rounding it out it's keeping with the same arc for the corner but adding more um, pieces to it so it curves smoother rather than just having it um, going straight it was, it was fairly sharp before and so now I'm going to look at um, some edges, uh, some vertices that aren't being used, and I'm just going to eliminate them without, uh, like, with the least impact to the geometry as possible. And so there's a lot more I could do, but um, I'm just trying to keep this brief. And so I'm just going to edge slide this over and if you remember the edge slides I was doing below I created a lot of triangles and now uh, um, this, these edge slides here will um, move those triangles from the bottom and they should they should um, be all slid over and there should be less triangles below um, I guess you didn't really get a good view on it there you go um, I, I'll just move those over and just merge those in and now we've got a lot less faces and a lot less triangles from the edge slides and a lot of a lot of the edge slides that I did on the bottom are now pretty much gone from the geometry, and the, and the shape has stayed relevant, relatively the same. I, I do notice now I kind of messed up on the bumper uh, to the left. But that's something I could go back and fix or remember to save often, um, save new versions. So you can go back to previous versions, especially um, before you start texturing or any anything big you want to save so you can go back to a previous version in, in case you really really mess up anyways um, that's all and uh, thanks see you next time